Welcome back to the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. This is going to be an interstate battle with East Carolina down in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in Greenville, North Carolina. The biggest part of this game is going to be for us to stay in the hunt for our division in the American Conference. We have fallen to fourth overall in our respective division. There is still an opportunity for us to win out and with a little bit of help make it to the championship game. So let's get this thing going. It's a gloomy day here in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium in Greenville, North Carolina. It's going to be important for us to hold on to the ball and not have crucial drops that is going to keep East Carolina in this game and prevent us from coming away with this dub. As always, tails never fails. We're going to be choosing to kick this ball off in order to build momentum going to the second half. Horton Aylers is known to be somewhat of a running quarterback. Oh, there we go. Trey Creamer coming up and stuffing Keaton Mitchell for a one-yard loss. Great way to start the game. Second and long. Keaton Mitchell is doing great so far in the NFL. Had a few great weeks as of late, so we're going to have to make sure we stop him. Oh, Trey Creamer almost came up with a big play. Oh, no. Oh, good gosh. Look at that hit by Tank Robinson. Obviously not the right defense, but Tank Robinson came over and said, you know what, just for catching that, I'm gonna make sure you pay. Second and six, not the worst position to be in. Oh, no, I just completely whiffed on that one. Just running right through us. He is so fast. I am bad at defense. Now we do have two guys coming across the middle. If Spencer is able to take the defense with him, I will be able to hit Greg Dubose coming right behind him. And looks like I'm, I don't got, really, really. All right, well, it's another turnover. Uh, I'm real good at turnovers, really. Oh, we are bringing a blitz. Oh, Howard again with another tackle. I do not like when my cornerbacks and safeties are making a lot of tackles because that's telling me that my linebackers and linemen are not doing their jobs. This is not the team to have to go down multiple scores to when they do have someone as dangerous as Keaton Mitchell. There we go. Howard tried to make the tackle, but who else but Tank Robinson coming up and making that stop. Ah, CJ Johnson for the touchdown. This is frustrating. Uh, we're down in the first five minutes of this game. 14 nothing. Look at that. We have gotten seven yards and thrown an interception. There we go. There we go. Take. Wow. So frustrating. There we go. Good job with that. Jam. Tucker, block for him. Block for him, baby. There we go. I like that route combination. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go, 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 Oh, my goodness. It does look like on the board now. And I say that with confidence because Shadrick Bird is going to be able to run through that hole. A Mack truck could have gone through that hole. Great job, guys. With this PAT, we're going to cut it to within one touchdown. Great way to bounce back. That's what we have to do. We have to get a stop here and, and go down and, and tie it up. And there'll be a 0-0 zero, zero game, guys. Can't lose confidence. Can't lose contain. Oh, what is going on? Oh, 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 gosh. No, uh, that's why you don't click on random people. It was a play action screen. At the end of the first quarter, it is 14 to 7. Ah, oh, Stone Handy, you should have had the... Nope, 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 nope. That is the speed of Keaton Mitchell getting the outside, and of course they ran right by me. 14 point game again. Uh, let's, let's go down here, guys. Let's see about you know putting ball in the end zone again. There we go. The underneath route that I have to go to. Good job. The routes are there, but the catches aren't coming across. So there we go. Tucker, don't go backwards. Yeah, woo, there we go. Uh, kind of scary. There we go. Are you serious? That's a lineman. Panda. The, oh, what's happening? Oh, th that was me, Dad. Gone it. I can't make a tackle to save my life. I'm making Chase Monroe look really bad. Tank Robinson even getting bodied out here. Ta <laughs> 13 carries already, 94 yards, two touchdowns. This is embarrassing. Let's see if we can stop them. Come on, Bama. Oh, 
Jalen Chase Monroe said not today. 33 yards is a 50 yard field goal. We're gonna go ahead and have Blount back. You know he's not gonna make it. We stepped out of bounds. We were going to try to return that, but it's all good. So uh, we held him. Get that, get that, get that. It was a soft spot in the zone. Reynolds was able to put it on him. Spencer, my God. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> so, Bama. What are you? Okay, dude. Well, one, okay. Really? Really? How? What are you? I'm, I'm gonna go with the lineman because I'm annoyed. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Holy cow! This is our chance uh, to get a little something going. Oh! Oh! Taylor Thompson should have that. Boom! Wow, 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 wow. Get a little something under. There we go. There we go. Get that. There we go, Tucker! I'm gonna go ahead and call a timeout. I'm gonna kick the field goal. Woo! Glad we were able to get that. You're going in halftime, down 21-13. Not where we want to be, but not the worst case in the world. We absolutely have to do better in the second half. In the second half, we will be getting the ball. So I'm going to be debating if we do score a touchdown to go for two to go ahead and tie the game up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank God. What, what? I do have Dubose going ahead and hitting that first down marker to be safe. This is going to be cut. Whoop! Step back. There we go. That what happened? Did the blade of grass get you? I hope they showed this all the way through. What happened? Step back. Yeah, a blade of grass. I do have this Clemens fellow. Tight end. Not crazy about him, but he might be the guy to go to this play. Get that. There we go. Make some stuff happen. There we go, Clemens. You just helped yourself get back in my good book. And now coach wants to go for it. There we go. There we go. Tucker. Ooh, there we go. The game is tied. Oh, and of course, a uh, face mask. Bama, oh my God. I am so incredibly annoyed. Really? Do I want to put the second string defense in? There we go. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Woo, there we go. Get on, get on, get on. Oh my gosh. Get in front of the guy. Oh my God. We're going to go hurry up. Try to catch him off guard. Go, 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 go. Get to the outside. Get to the outside. Yep, yep, yep. No, 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 no. Right up the middle. Well, man, we, we got to gotta stop him. Are you... I don't know. What? Who? So end of the third quarter. It's a seven-point game. 28-21. Uh, right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my. So annoyed. Redeem yourself. Come on. Come on. There we go, Victor Tucker. Woo! There we go. Oh, school record for passing yards in a game. That's cool. Um, but it's not really going to matter if we don't win. So we're able to drive down a minute 42. So again, showing that we are able to make plays, make things happen, go down the field um, in a short period of time. Going over with the blitz. Oh, oh my gosh, Howard. Oh my gosh. Oh, Marquise Watts. He's getting warmed up, baby. What? Oh, no. This. I'm so annoyed. Man. Really? Oh, good job. Good job. Clock stopped. They should have had that first down and probably a touchdown. Go down two scores again and just fight back. He did miss a field goal, but that was 10 yards closer. So let's see if we... No, 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 no. Really? They beat their people. Get them. Get them. There we go. Get a field. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Again, dude, no words. 
Well, that's frustrating. Well, guys, we lost 38 to 28. Keaton Mitchell had himself a day. Over 160 yards, multiple touchdowns, a few receptions. Get to the game stats. That looks great. That's what lost us the game. That's what lost us the game right there. 58 yards. I mean, yeah, I say I want three yards average. That's great, but not going to do anything for us. This right here, two, four, five, six drops. That's lost, that lost us the game. Good job, Spencer, for, for getting over 100 yards. Tucker getting yards. Sacks. Tackles. You know, we, we we did pick up three sacks. That's great. Marquise Watts finally finding himself uh, a few more sacks. Creamer should not be our leading tackler. Safeties should not be following in suit with those tackles that these guys should not be the lead tacklers on our team we had more yards than them we had more passing yards than them but look at their rushing yards that's ridiculous 250 rushing yards and then of course you have to point out the turnovers that's embarrassing as we prepare for week 11, we have to first talk about some guys that we had commit. First guy, we're talking about tight end, 6'5", 260-pound Jason Dorsey. This is the one guy I saw and was most excited about recruiting throughout the season. I want to make an emphasis for the tight end and also the fullback, but this guy is the tight end. Uh, he does not have great blocking, but look at those stats as far as his speed. Not sexy, but sneaky fast, as I said at the beginning of the year about Taylor Thompson. His catching, his route running, his catch in traffic is what's going to be making him one of the vital points in our offense moving forward. With Taylor Thompson leaving, Jason Dorsey is going to be the guy that we want to take over. And again, I'm looking forward to putting his name on that award watch for the tight end trophy, as well as on the All-American list. Courtney Everett, outside linebacker from South Carolina, doesn't have great speed, definitely doesn't have great agility, but his acceleration, his tackling, and his play recognition are what's going to make him a good asset to our team. His block shedding leaves something to be desired, but his coverage and his finesse and power moves, that's what makes me excited to have him. He will probably end up being the middle linebacker of the future because of his agility. I do look forward to that play recognition being something that makes him the next Chase Monroe. For week 11, we will be welcoming Florida. Atlantic to the 704 to defend our home turf. This will be the second set of owls we face this year after we did beat Rice in an earlier game. We do have an outside chance to still win the American in our division, but it is going to take a lot of help. Let's look forward to next week and defend the 704. We look forward to seeing you at the game. Go Niners!